Hello foodie friends and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Karen. Thanksgiving is only two weeks away. So today I'm going to be doing a collaboration video with my good friend Susan from the Russian Feast. We are both going to be making some yummy side dishes. I'm going to be making a fresh cranberry orange relish and she's going to be making green bean casserole. After you're finished watching me, I want you to head over to her channel, which is the Russian Feast. She makes some amazing Russian inspired recipes as well as some American ones. They're quick, easy, and they are delicious. So now I'm just one of those people that don't care for cranberry jelly from a can. I really prefer the texture and the freshness from a fresh, from a cranberry relish. So I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to make and your family is going to love it. So let's get cooking. The first thing we want to do is take a 12 ounce bag of fresh cranberries and put them in the food processor. The next thing we want is one large orange. And if you can find an organic one, it's preferable because we are going to use the peel as well as the orange. So we are just going to zest the outside. Don't want any of the white part because that's gonna make our relish bitter. So I have peeled my orange and if you notice, I got all the white bitter pith off. So it's just the orange. And now I'm gonna cut it into four pieces and I'm gonna add it along with the cranberries. And now I'm gonna use the pulse button and chop it till everything is finely ground. Now what I like to do is uh, take it off, take the lid off and scrape down the sides in case there's any big pieces. And now we're just gonna place this in a bowl. And now we're gonna take one cup of granulated sugar and pour it into our bowl. Now I know this looks like a lot, but if you've ever tasted a cranberry, they are very, very sour. So we're gonna need this much sugar to counteract the, the sourness. However, it's still gonna be a nice and tart cranberry relish. And now this is my secret ingredient. It is gonna give it the best orange flavor. It's triple sec. This is what you use when you're making margaritas. And we're gonna use one tablespoon. Now, if you wanna leave this out, you totally can. Uh, you can just replace it with one tablespoon of orange juice, but honestly, it's not gonna give quite the flavor, but it's still gonna be good. All we're gonna do now is give this a really good mix. And that's all there is to it. Now you wanna put this in the refrigerator for at least four hours. And when you're done, this is what it's gonna look like. Now this is fantastic with turkey, but it's also really good with chicken or pork tenderloin. Okay, you know what time it is. Time for me to give it a try. This is amazing. You get the tartness from the cranberries, you definitely taste those pieces of orange and that orange liqueur. It is gonna totally change the way you look at cranberry sauce. I really hope you guys give this a try. I know you're gonna love it. And right after you're done with this, head on over to the Russian Feast so you can watch how she makes green bean casserole and I'm gonna put her link down below. So happy Thanksgiving everyone and we'll see you on the next episode. Hi. Hello, fruit. Fruities. <laughs> Hello, foodie friends, and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Karen.